Well, human papilloma virus infection, which is commonly known as HPV, is a cause for head and neck cancer. However, this is something that can be prevented, which is definitely good news. Joining me to talk about this is Dr. Akshay Patel, co-director of the Head and Neck Cancer Program at Hartford Hospital. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about the link between HPV and head and neck cancer. Yeah, so human papillomavirus, uh, or HPV, it's the most common sexually transmitted disease in America. Uh, usually, all of us are infected by adulthood by the virus, and most of us get rid of it, but 1% to 2% of us will hang on to the virus. Unfortunately, among those 1% to 2%, some will develop cancers from high-risk types of this, this type of virus. Uh, they can cause cancers of the cervix or the anus, and now more commonly, it causes uh, uh, cancers of the oropharynx. And oropharyngeal cancer caused by this is called uh, squamous cell carcinoma or HP-related oropharyngeal squamous cell carcinoma. And speaking of the risk of this disease, who seems to be more at risk for it? So HP-related oropharyngeal squamous cell carcinomas typically affect men more than women in a four-to-one ratio. Uh, most patients typically are in their mid-50s, but we do meet patients who are in their 30s and care for patients even in their 90s with this problem. Uh, early sexual debut or a large number of oral sex partners in a lifetime can increase someone's risk. Patients who have this problem uh, may notice it because they develop the neck lump or they have difficulty swallowing, ear pain, throat pain, or a sensation of something stuck in their throat. And usually the, the diagnosis is made with a biopsy of a lymph node, uh, which is a swollen neck lump, or of the oropharyngeal tumor itself. So what is the prognosis for HPV as it relates to throat cancer? Yeah, so fortunately the prognosis for HP-related oropharyngeal squamous cell carcinoma is very good. It's a highly treatable and highly curable cancer. Um, the cancer-free survival rates for patients who have this problem is about 85 to 90 percent over five years. And this is such a scary thought, Lionel. Let's, of course, let's talk about treatment options for something like this. Yeah, so as I said, treatment uh, is great for patients who have this problem. Again, it's highly curable, highly treatable. And we can offer treatment with surgery using through-the-mouth techniques with robotic assistance. We offer some patients radiation and sometimes chemotherapy. Uh, in any case, though, uh, we really try to individualize treatment plans for patients. And the best treatments offered through a multidisciplinary head and neck cancer treatment program and treatment team like the one we have at Hartford HealthCare. So is there a vaccine available and who should get it? I think we're having a problem, de technical problem there, but we want to thank Dr. Patel, who is the co-director of the Head and Neck Cancer Program at Hartford Hospital.